When someone is speaking just like this, we don't say all the words one after another in one long sequence. Instead, we use punctuation to add expression and to make it clear to the listener that we have different ideas within our speech. Consider the way this book was written. The author has used paragraphs, sentences, commas, and other punctuation to make the reading as clear as possible and to provide some added expression for other ideas. The same thing also applies to music. Now this is obviously clearest in singing, where the imperfections of the human voice create a very emotive experience. But the same thing also applies to other instruments and all styles of music. So the question is, how can we use phrasing and other punctuation to create the same experience with other instruments? First of all, let's look at phrases. Phrases are like sentences in music. And in this piece called Jasmine Flower, the phrases are really clear thanks to the rest at the end of each one. So what this means is that we should think of this sequence of notes as one idea. Just as you wouldn't take a breath in the middle of a sentence, we should try and play this phrase as a single idea. At the end of each phrase is something called a cadence, and a cadence is just a musical ending. Similar to how a question mark or an exclamation point or a full stop can change the way that a sentence feels, different types of cadences can change the way that musical phrases feel. Listen to the next two bars and compare how the feeling at the end of the first one compares to the end of the second one. The second one definitely feels more like an ending compared to the first one. It's worth saying at this point that phrases can also be divided up into smaller phrases, and also smaller phrases can be grouped together with other ones to create a longer phrase. Another way we can help contribute towards good phrasing is through the use of dynamics. We can see in this piece that the composer has written in dynamics, F for forte, which means loud, and P for piano, which means soft. But within phrases, we can also slightly change the dynamics to give it a more human element. One common idea is to observe how the phrase changes in pitch and to try and match that with your dynamics. So in this phrase, you might want to play slightly louder as you get towards the top of the phrase and then gradually coming down as you get towards the end. The same idea can also be applied to tempo which is how fast or slow we play the music. Now, generally speaking, we want to try and keep the same tempo, but gradual changes here and there can add a more human element to the performance and can create a more emotive experience for the listener. So these are just a couple of ideas to help you phrase your music better and to add some more expression into your playing. Now, the piece we were looking at today gave us the phrasing from the notation. But all styles of music have phrasing, and whether you're improvising or playing from memory, you still need to find ways to phrase the music. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos.